Well, there was a weapon system being developed at the lab to attack hard targets, and it was a bomb they called the FUFO bomb, which means full fusing options, so you could run it at 200 uh, kilotons or go one megaton, depending on, you know, you dial your yield. But it was supposed to be dropped from maybe 30 meters, a plane coming in very low, and then it was uh, lifted by a lifting parachute to maybe 40 meters and then slowly lowered to the ground. But by, by the time it hit, it was still traveling 30 or 40 meters per second and it needed to survive the impact. And there was no software, commercial or non-commercial, available that could solve that problem. And uh, consequently, uh, it was necessary to write a, uh, a new code that could solve that problem. And that's how Dyna 3D began.